Let's talk about Tetris. 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 Did you guys hear? The Tetris film starts with its origins in Moscow to Nintendo landing the console rights. I love the movie! It was a fun interpretation of gaming history, sprinkled with some Hollywood car chases to boot. I'm going to talk about five interesting moments in Tetris's history. Tetris and Game Boy. I bought the original Game Boy in 1989. The Game Boy came with a charger, a link cable, and a Tetris cartridge. Hank Rogers convinced the Nintendo of America CEO to package every Game Boy with Tetris. But if you want to sell millions of Game Boys to absolutely everyone, young and old around the world, package it with Tetris. And he was right. 44 million Game Boys was sold in the US. The Game Boy was my first introduction to Tetris. I love the catchy Russian music. I love setting the pieces up for a perfect Tetris. My original Game Boy no longer works, so I pre-ordered an analog pocket so I could play my original Tetris cartridge. Hengen. As noted in the movie, there was many companies vying for the licensing rights for Tetris, including Nintendo and Atari. Atari was frustrated at Nintendo because they were limited at how much games they could sell for the super popular NES. Atari reverse engineered the NES cartridge chips and manufactured their own games. Atari published under the Tengen brand, which included Tetris. Nintendo said that the Tengen games were illegal since they did not have the official seal of approval. People often attribute the Tengen version of Tetris as the more superior one. It was a solid Tetris game with a way better soundtrack and even multiplayer support. Nintendo eventually won all the console rights for Tetris, and they forced Atari to stop selling the game. Today, the Tengen version is a rare collector's item that often fetch $300 on eBay. Unique Tetris versions. Since its creation, there's been over 70 different types of Tetris games. One of my favorite is Tetris 99. It's a battle royale version where you're pitted against 98 other players. Last man standing wins. Then there was Tetris the Grandmaster 3 Terror Instinct. You know when you get pretty far in Tetris and the blocks start falling super fast? Well, in this game, the blocks immediately drop to the ground and you have milliseconds to move them. I have no idea why they made a game for only 10 people in the world. There was also times where Tetris was played on a building. This video is of a Drexel professor and his team hacking the lighting system of a Philly skyscraper to play the world's biggest game of Tetris. Hackers have also updated the original Game Boy version by adding modern features including multiple previews, hard drops, and the ability to hold pieces. It's a perfect version for people who grew up with the original Tetris. Just Dance 2015 also had a Tetris dance, where four players dance as different Tetris pieces to the tune of classic Tetris music. This is one Tetris game where you want to be very careful where you place your block. Vladimir Pokilko. The movie portrayed Alexei as the creator of Tetris. But there was a co-creator by the name of Vladimir Pohilko. Vladimir helped Alexei develop and market the game. Years later, Hank helped both Alexei and Vlad move to the United States. It's surprising that Vlad was never mentioned in the Tetris film, given that he was such an integral part of its history. My guess was probably how tragic his life ended. Police and Vladimir Pokilko used a hammer and a hunting knife to kill his wife and his son as they slept then use the knife to kill himself. For a lot of investigators, it just didn't add up. The blood spatter is weird. There were two different hammers. Why is the FBI getting involved in this little old murder-suicide? Rumors started circulating and a lot of people started mentioning the Russian mafia. There was also a mysterious note found on Vlad. I've been eaten alive, Vladimir. Just remember that I am exist, the devil. That got really dark. Uh, sorry about that. The Tetris Company. Alexei never made a sense while he lived in Russia. After he moved to the United States, both him and Hank secured the rights to Tetris worldwide, and they created the Tetris Company. In 2006, Arakawa, the president of Nintendo of America, co-founded Tetris Online with both Alexei and Hank. I like to believe that the huge success of the Game Boy led the three of them to stay close as friends and work together. Hank really kept his word to ensure his friend Alexei would one day profit off his perfect game. According to the internet, Alexei's net worth is $20.4 billion. Tres comas. Billion! Now that's a good friend. Put it in the exact No!
Whoa! What's wrong with this TV? What happened? I felt good. What? I can't see anything.